and I'm doing that as a form of offering some relaxation, some time out. Um, and I think actively doing something can just really bring you into the moment to make something beautiful. And this week I'm bringing along, I th I'm quite excited about this. I don't normally make animals, but I thought this rabbit is so wonderfully rabbity. Um, it's just been Easter, so it feels like a really appropriate thing to do, but it's lovely at any time. So I'm Lizzie. I normally work um, in a hospital with patients and staff encouraging well-being. Um, and I found that origami is a really powerful way of giving people some time together to learn something new. And by doing something very active, it really focuses the mind. People have described it gives a sense of calm, uh, relaxation, but also a real achievement. If you've made one yourself, you're going to feel so chuffed with it. So I'm going to be sharing with you this rabbit. Um, this is a bigger one. I've also been making tiny ones too. They're so sweet and expressive. Look at this little rabbity thing. So I will be sharing with you this journey, um, which I hope you're going to enjoy. So in a moment, I'm going to turn the camera around and direct it on my lap and you'll be able to see making the rabbit. In each case, I'm using just normal A4 paper or wherever you are, it might be letter paper, whatever paper it is, you don't need anything special to do origami. So I want to give you that, that confidence and um, yeah, to go from right from the basics and we'll do this together. So I'm going to move this around. You see colourful sitting room. I do like lots of colour. I'll bring this maybe a little bit closer. And yeah, I'm also doing live folds. So on a Wednesday at 2 p.m. and Friday at 8 p.m., you can join me live on YouTube, and that way it's rather nice to know we're together. But um, I hope this will be a video you can use at any time, maybe even share with your family. If you've got family that you're living with, then this might be something nice to do together. So here goes. Right, I'm going to grab the paper first of all. So just A4. This is, this is again something new. I've been pushing myself to learn new things because you, uh, yeah, it's all about being brave to try something new. So this rabbit, I'm afraid I don't know who's designed it. So if anybody does know, do let me know. I think it's based on a traditional rabbit and then it's been further modified. And I've actually learned it myself from YouTube videos. So, but I wanted to share this as a moment of time, what we're going through together and this connection. I think is important. So I'm going to take this corner and simply bring it over. If you've come along to any of my videos before, you'll see I always start this way. And in a way, there's repetition there. But the repetition becomes quite calming because you know what you're doing. So all I'm doing is taking that edge, lining it up and giving it a good strong fold. So with origami, my three rules are be very precise. And that precision is rather lovely and give good strong folds because it's the folds that give it the strength my third rule not to forget is to enjoy yourself because that's what it's meant to be about so we're just going to remove this strip so we're going to turn it over and i think you know people vary on how they relax i i find that so meditation is a very valuable thing to do i find myself not naturally wanting to do that i much prefer to make and do something and that gives your mind a break. So I think, you know, whatever works for you. And if this is something that you'd like to do and like to make, I think that motivates. And once you get into it, there's more and more things you can do. I'm going to put that little rabbit up so you can actually see what it's meant to look like. There we go. <laughs> um, and we're going to get rid of this little strip. So no special equipment. If you've done a good strong line, you should be able to tear. There we go. So we've already done a diagonal. We'll get rid of that strip. We don't need it this time. Um, we're going to do the other diagonal as well. So again, just lining it up. Hope you can see well. I think the lighting here is quite good actually. It's good during the day. There we go. And you can always pause, go back. That's what I do with YouTube videos. So we've done our diagonals. Next, we're going to bring the edge to the middle. So we're going to do lines actually always. Can you see? I'm simply keeping that a nice horizontal line. You could actually do the other side while you're here as well. Can you see? All I've done is I've brought it up to that middle. 
And now the same on the other side. And I hope in doing this it will bring you some calm and some care. And I think, as I said before, I think when you are giving yourself time and care with this, you're also caring for yourself. That's it. So we've done both sides. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, bringing the top or bottom, it doesn't matter which, to that middle line. Again, I'm tending to press down on the board because it helps to have something to press on. So I'd recommend that. There we go. This is quite a new one for me, actually. So rather fun to learn something new. I normally make flowers and things. There's a little bit more, I think, a bit more of an expression with animals. There's a real variation, you'll see. I think these rabbits are really sweet because each does look a little bit different. So hopefully your piece of paper looks like this. And if you just close the sides in, I'll try and do this as much as I can showing the camera. What we're going to do next is take one of these and can you see I'm pushing that up along those existing lines so it goes like that. So it was flat. I'm trying to go nice and slowly so that you can see, but it's flat like that. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing the side up so it sticks up. As I'm sure you're guessing, these will later on become ears. So it's already looking a little bit like an ear, isn't it? And the same on the other side. She says. <laughs> That's it. You just play around. It's being not afraid to keep trying until it ends up the way it should do. There we go. I'll lie that down, make sure that they're all in line together there. There we go. So it should look like this. Lovely. Right. We want these ears to be up separate. So can you see at the moment it's lying like this? I need to then tilt it round so that these stick up. Can you see? So it was like this. And now you can actually keep this still and move the paper around just so that these ears are up like that. It will later on become ears. Now turn it to the other side, the smooth side, and we'll fold this in a straight line. Can you see that? I'm going to again press down on the board. It always helps. There we go. And actually when you're pushing you're adding a little bit of pressure there can you see so I've taken the side and I folded it in a straight line like so there we go so there's a few more steps in this but I think it's well worth doing just take your time and you will get there okay so it should look like this that's it so right turn to the other side again this will become the head and these will become the ears. So our next step is to, again, we're going to sort of tilt it back again. Can you see? So this is where all the head is and the ears and they're lying flat. You can see it's beginning to look rabbity. And I want us to give it a little nose. So this little bit that's sticking up, you're going to... Fold it over just a little bit. It's going to be its little rabbity nose. Can you see? That's it. Okay, right, turn it to the other side. And it does actually look, I think it looks already like a flat rabbit. We, we want it to become three dimensional. So take your rabbit and fold it in half. Can you see? Hopefully that little nose is tucked underneath. So it's like so. That's it. Again, I'm trying to line things up. That little nose there. There we go. So hopefully that's sort of flattened down like that. Next we want is it's lying very much flat altogether. We want these ears and head to stick up. So to do this, I take the ears and can you see I'm tilting its head up and then squashing there. 
And there is variation in this, and I think that's rather lovely because they will all look a little bit different. Can you see I brought that up? Let's head up. There we go. Right. Our next step is we're going to start making the body. So we've made the head rather well. These will be ears, as you can see. I'm going to take the body, this corner, this top corner, I'm going to aim towards its cheek, about there. That looks like the rabbit's cheek. And as I said, there's variation, so it's not quite as exact as the flowers where you're very exact. There is room for manoeuvre and it, it is actually rather nice because it means they'll all be different. Can you see I directed it just to the cheek on the rabbit? That's right, good strong fold. There's many layers there, so it'll probably be a little bit hard. And then if you open it up, I'm not quite sure why that's that shape, but there we go. There's essentially a line there. Our next step is we're going to want to tuck this, which will become legs, inside it. So if I tilt it round here, this is looking at its back, you should be able to kind of push it in along that line that you just made, she says. You should be able to just push it in. Again, it's just playing around, but then it's at a bit of an angle. See, mine's not absolutely perfect. That's fine. It will all add to its lovely individuality. Can you see? So I managed to take it, it was out here and I pushed it in. You're going to have to fiddle a bit, but you could actually already have this as your rabbit. So you could stop there, but I, th I think we could make it even better. So first of all, we could make a tail or a little sort of bob tail. So this corner here, if you fold it just a little bit like that, and then you open it up and push it in. You see, so I've pushed it in and that just hides it away. It's just tucking it away, really. We can make the feet more pointy. So to do this, let me see, how do I normally do it? Right, if we look from this direction inside there, there's this little sticking up kind of V. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bring that V down. Oops, sorry, going off the camera there. I'm bringing the V down in order to make a little triangular feet. Now, you don't have to do this. If it's not working for you, it's fine to have left it how it was. So I'm just showing how you could make it a little bit more. So at the moment, that's fine. You can leave it or you can have a go. But it's a little bit of a hard one to explain because it's so three-dimensional, but I'm just pushing that middle sticky up V down until it gets to a triangular triangular point here. Again, it's playing around and being very patient with yourself, but you will get there. So it's ended up being like that inside. But take your time and play around. You will get there. That's if you want to do your little, can you see my feet now are a little bit more pointed. Uh, if you want to, again, it's brilliant as it is but if you wanted it to round off a little bit more you can do as we did with the tail you can just round off these little areas so to round off you can fold fold a little corner and again open it up and tuck it away just pushing that in can you see it slightly softened that line so again, here, what you can do to soften that corner is just bend up a little bit like that, then open it up and push it inside, like so. And that's just slightly softened it. Your final step, we're really almost there, these ears. So you should be able to just easily push them down like that and I think this is what makes it really rabbity because they can be lop-eared kind of rabbits or sticking up or at different angles you might open up those ears a little bit more 
um, and there hopefully I hope that's worked for you I know it's a little bit more complex than the previous ones but I think it's worth the effort and origami is all about persistence and knowing that you'll get there in the end so I really hope you've been able to make the rabbit and you can always wind back to that I'll also include a link to another video as well which you might might just in case you find that clearer and that's where I've learnt it from so I hope that this has been some fun for you and hope to see you again soon bye bye <laughs>